Hello, I'm your host, The Chicken Man with GKG Poultry. With Easter here, what is the best methods of taking care of your new Easter chicks? First and foremost, the place the chicks will be raised, what is referred to as the brooder, needs to have some sort of bedding. There are many different types of bedding material. However, pine shavings are the best for raising chicks. After your shavings are down, the brooder needs to be warm. Chicks cannot control their body temperature, so they need to have a source of external heat. This can be achieved by a heat lamp or some sort of brooding equipment. Start your brooder temperature at 95 degrees Fahrenheit, then reduce the temperature around 5 degrees every week. Observe the chicks to help manage the temperature. If the chicks are all huddled under the heat source, it is too cold. If the chicks are all skirting around the edge, avoiding the heat, it is too hot. If the chicks are evenly distributed around the brooder and chirping happily, the temperature is right. Now that the brooder has bedding and is heated, the chicks will need fresh, clean water. There are many forms of chick waters. I suggest to find the one that fits you, stays clean, is easy to clean, and is the right size and height for the chicks. Electrolytes can be added to the water, uses directed on the label. This gives new chicks a head start in life. When it comes to feed, chicks require a chick starter feed ration. Some chick starters come in a medicated formula. This is only necessary to feed if the chicks are brooded in a humid environment, there is a large quantity of chicks, the brooder is used one batch after another, or the brooder is not sanitized. This is a guideline. I suggest to find what fits with you. Also, the medication is only meant for chickens and should not be fed to other poultry like quail or ducks. Here at GKG, we do not use any medicated feeds, simply because we have no need to, and we have other forms of poultry that might receive an ill effect if eaten. The chick starter can be placed at first on a paper plate or a piece of cardboard so the chicks can easily get to it, and after a few days it can be transitioned into a normal chick feeder. At GKG, we skip this step and start our chicks on regular feeders for convenience of production. Be sure to keep the feed dry so it does not mold. So after the whole brooder is set up, it's time for the chicks. When placing the chicks in the brooder, dip their beaks in the water, then in the starter ration. This helps them find the food and water quickly so they get off to a great start. So make sure the brooder has a good bedding, is set up to the right temperature, and the chicks have fresh, clean food and water. With this, your chicks should get off to a great start. That wraps up this quick guideline to taking care of your new Easter chicks. Be sure to observe and manage your chicks accordingly. And ask us a question in the comment section. Don't forget to check out our social media accounts. And of course, like the video and subscribe. For now, I bid you farewell and encourage all to keep your hens happy and healthy.